Hi everyone, I'm Allie. Hi, Abby. <laughs> Sorry. Today we're going to be starting Charleston, but first we're going to review what we did last week. Which is Frankie Manning Kicks. Yay! You don't need to do that last bit. <laughs> uh, did the mess around? Mess around, which looks like this? I don't know, I can't do it. And the shorty George? I like the shorty George. Looks like this? Those are moves that they're not like, they're not really moves that you use all the time in your dance, but you can add them in as a stylistic thing mm -hmm. when it's breaking a song. Mm -hmm. And then we did the bend and snap. Yay! So if you want to learn any of those moves, you can check out our video from last week. But now we're going to move on to Charleston. So Charleston is a bit different from regular East Coast. It's going to be eight counts mm -hmm. instead of six counts. And there's a whole new basic that we're going to learn for it. So first we'll just show you what it looks like. So, this is important, we mentioned the pulse before, it's important to continue that pulse. So, the basic for leads and follows is rock step, kick step, kick, hold, kick step. Now that hold is really important because like we said this is eight counts, so if you do kick and then another kick without the hold, you'll get messed up, you won't be on time with your partner anymore. So when we do this basic, it's important to have a pulse. So instead of just rock, step, kick, step, that's boring, you go rock, step, kick, step, kick, hold, kick, step, rock, step, kick, step, kick, hold, kick, step. Um, so this pulse really helps you keep in time with your partner, because if you're pulsing at the same time, then that means you're also kicking at the same time. Mm -hmm. So for leads, you're going to start on your left. Oh, sorry. Okay, followers are going to start on your right. Mm -hmm. So we're both going to rock, step, and then kick on that same foot. Kick, step, and then the opposite foot. So leads at your right, follows at your left. Mm -hmm. Kick, hold, kick, step. So with counts, that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so the way that you're going to do this with your partner is follows. You're going to have your left arm on your partner's shoulder. And that's it? Yeah. And my arms are on Allie's back. Again, my right arm. Don't, don't make it weird. This Around the <laughs> <laughs> You're so lazy. Okay, so we can try it out together. So, rock, step, kick, step, kick, hold, kick, step, rock, step, kick, step, kick, hold, kick, step. And because we are pulsing together, we are also kicking at the same time, so we're doing it at the same time. Getting in? Getting in! So, you can get into this just from regular East Coast. So we'll be rock stepping and triple stepping along, or single stepping. The music is faster because you usually do Charleston to faster music. And then, when I want to do this, I take a big rock step, but instead of holding on like I would in regular lollies, or in, yeah, in regular lollies, um, where we go, we hold on to our hands and I do a big rock step and then we go back and forth. Instead of doing that, I'm going to lead a big rock step and open us up so we are parallel to each other, mm -hmm. or lined up, I don't know. It's been a while since geometry. Um, so then after that, so we just rock, step, 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 rock, step, and that's the first count. So, so the big cue here for the follows is the lead starts in, with their hand like on the mid back, and then when they open you up, it shifts to the waist. So leads, that's really important. You need to shift your hand from the center of your follows back to their side, to their waist, and 
that's how they know that it's coming. It should happen naturally. It'd be really awkward if you tried to keep your hand in the middle of your follows back and they're right next to you. Yeah. Yeah, like it would, it'd be weird. So we can do this together if you have a partner. So rock step, triple step, trip step, rock step, kick step, kick, hold, kick step, rock step, kick step, kick, hold, kick step. And then getting out so you can get out of this right back into regular East Coast. Mm -hmm. It's going to look very similar to something that we've done before. So we'll be in Charleston. And I will extend my hand to Allie. And if I see Evan's hand there, I will put my hand in it. Please don't just not put your hand in it. <laughs> you can, but it's not very kind. So. We can still do our Charleston basic like this, but when I want to get out on that first rock step, on that kick step, I'm going to bring my hand up like a stop sign. Ha ha, it's a tough turn. So we kick, step. I usually kick step. You can triple step if you want, but whatever floats your boat. Yeah, I usually, I will do either a kick step or a triple step, depending on how much momentum I have. If I have a lot of momentum, it's easier to kick. But I don't have that much, we are doing it slow right there, so I just triple stepped. And the big thing we talked about asking for the hand, please, please do not grab your follow's hand. That is, that is rude, that is not good. It also clearly doesn't work all of the time. Mm -hmm. So if your follow doesn't see that the hand is there, you can just say, look, I have my hand here. You can like lift it up a little bit so they can see. <laughs> not, not like that, more, more, more gently. Mm -hmm. But don't just grab their hand. Follows. If you see the hand, please put your hand in it because then you're leaving, leaving whatever they want to do. So we'll go through that all together. We'll get in, we'll do two basics, basics. in Charleston, and then we'll get out. Are you ready? Oh, bless you. Now I'm ready. Yeah. Nice. Five, six, seven, eight, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, kick step, kick. Hold, kick, step, rock, step, kick, step, kick, hold, kick, step, rock, step, kick, step, kick, step, rock, step. Now we're just ready to go back East Coast. We can leave those from here. Mm -hmm. So the big thing here is make sure that you're keeping in time with your partner when you're kicking. And the footwork will take some time. When I was first learning Charleston, I would just like stand in my room by myself and be like, okay. Just doing this over and over again until I got the footwork down. It's just something that you have to get into your muscle memory. Mm -hmm. That's all we have for this week. Next week, we're going to learn some extra moves that you can do in Charleston. Yay!